your board, it's time to grow your community of members. And one of the best ways that you can do this is through events. So here at Ohio State, we like to hold a variety of events from things like a back to school social, to tech talks with professors, to workshops, and then particularly in the fall, we like to hold a lot of networking events with companies. So when you're planning events, you want to consider three main things. The first being your venue. So for example, when we hold an event with Google, we expect a lot more people to come. So you want to make sure that you book a larger room. But then for our weekly meetings, we expect less people. So we just have a smaller classroom that we meet at every week. On the same theme of consistency, we like to meet at the same time and day every week. So we hold our meetings Wednesdays at 7 p.m. in one of the computer science buildings because we found that by 7 p.m. in the evening, most people are done with their classes and because it's a weekday, people are on campus and they're still pretty involved and they're not busy with the weekend. Lastly, we like to also provide food at every single event that we hold because kids love to eat food. Well, students, I guess, we're not really kids. But students love to eat food, and so it's a good incentive for them to come. So some things you might want to ask yourself then are, how often do we want to meet? So maybe in the beginning, you only want to hold meetings monthly because you're just getting started out. And another good question that you want to ask is, what do you want your members to gain from the meetings? So do you want to have an emphasis on networking with companies, or do you want to focus more on providing workshops and tech talks for your members?